previously had. My gang and I had done it. The clockwork tail feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Okay guys, what's going on? My name is Experminator. In the last episode, we were in episode 1. And we're gonna do episode 2 now. Which is... Uh, this one! So take your seat, and let's go. Another clockwork part had surfaced in India. So the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target. A mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills, and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased Ancestral Palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the Clockwork Wings. The symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you. Especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring in prestige, and maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. Okay, sounds good to me, sounds good. Can't wait to get started on this episode. It's uh, it's a fun one. It's a fun one. Uh, we can only use Sly. That's okay. I think you have to go here. Yeah. With a drawbridge up, the only way across that river is on those conical rocks. Do you remember how to spire jump? What? You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. Jump and hit circle. Just like everything else in this game. It's really simple. Okay, um, I said that I was gonna collect like all the clear bolts at the end of the episode. But I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna do them now. Uh, because, yeah, making a video about it, it's gonna be kinda boring. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, perfect. Uh, the mission is up there. Should be able to get it. There. Recon the border room. Okay. Sure. I figured out how to sneak in above the ballroom without being detected. The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony door. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Uh, it's not gonna be that hard. Oh, this looks perfect. Like so. And thank you. That's one wing. Looks like the wings have been welded onto that statue. Just have to turn down the volume a little bit. Uh, that's true. Oh, come on. Is it Raja? I don't know. There is. Perfect. Raja. Okay. And we have one more wing there. They look heavy. Getting the wings out of here will be a real challenge. And 
the winch is uh, there. An electronic winch. That could be useful. Maybe you should get some shots of the guests. Uh, okay. John B. Sock, a member of the Claw Gang and hmm. Canadian shipping baron. He owns half the uh, in Canada. The guys I'm taking picture of now might or might not be bosses later in the game. Claw gang <laughs> Come on. Come on. Sick creature of the guard. That's a perfect shot. Leela, another officer undercover. Watch yourself, Sly. This party is crawling with cops. That's all the photos I need. Bring them back to the safe house and we'll start building a game plan. All right. First mission complete, and uh, let's do some planning. We'll see a slideshow. I, th I think it's called slideshow. Not sure. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection, and the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments, but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. Okay, well, we'll start with lowering the drawbridge, I believe, and then we're gonna play a Sly. Is it a mission to lower the... Yeah, okay. Let's do that first, and then we'll move on to Murray, I think, maybe. I already know this. Like so. Perfect. Uh, what the hell? Come on. Up. I know there's a clue ball on top. I heard it. Come on. Thanks. Uh, let's start the mission. Sly, Murray and I can't get inside the palace unless you lower the drawbridge. I'd love to, pal, but the winch is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? Key guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown winch. Okay. Uh, so we just have to steal a few keys. Should be rather easy. Uh, is this guy standing still? I believe so. Oh crap. Oh, oh that was close. So, oh crap. Oh crap. The alpha squad me. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, smoke bomb. Smoke bomb. Pretty useful. Pretty useful. Next guy. I think we're gonna do this one first. Pretty cool place. This palace, or what do you wanna call it? And good night to you, sir. Uh, can I jump this? Yeah. Okay, uh. Let's take this guy down. We'll take his key. You can use noise to lure this guard from his post. Try ringing that gong and picking his pocket when he returns to his post. This is 
is gonna be easy. Like so. And good night. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Haha, <laughs> tricked that guy. Okay, let's see here. Uh, there's one guy here. Oh, yeah, perfect. Alright, not bad. I'm kinda good at this. Pickpocketing and uh, stealth thing, you know. Standard. Just per minute professionalism. Uh, let's just go. Oh, what do you have in your purse, mister? Something good? I got it. <laughs> Silver pen. Smoke bomb. See you later. Oh, fuck me. Can I get that? Oh, no. From there. Oh, yeah. Is he gonna see me? Wow, I don't like this. He's gonna hear what. Yes, he heard it. Shit. And he saw me as well. Oh, crap. Alright, well. Uh, not good. Okay, I know where the guy or where the guard is now, which is perfect. Uh, but I'm kind of struggling. Let's just knock out uh, this guard. And let's see what we can do here. Okay. It's gonna put. Oh, it's patrolling around here. Come on, one more. How many key? You have so much money. Come on. Good job, Sly. Now Thanks. Hep. Fuck. Fuck me. Hep. <laughs> I was doing so bad now. You're dead, bro. What's this? Okay, so it's like yeah, under the bridge. And there's a clue bottle. I'm gonna try to collect like a few of them, but not uh, not gonna devote my time to collecting. Because that is unnecessary. Silver ring and good night, sir. Uh, let's see if. Yeah, okay. Uh, where's the marker? Should be by the bridge. Yeah. Can I make this jump? Yeah, perfect. Alright, Sly. Something? Oh shit. That was bad. There's a secret passage to. to like. Uh, yeah, to enter the castle. But that's what. that's not what I'm going to do here. Because there is a treasure somewhere. If I remember correctly. And we're just gonna pick that up. And I'm gonna bring it to the safe house. And that's the end of the episode. Oh, can I make this jump? Circle. Perfect. Alright. And this one has a bomb on it. So I have to get back in the safe house within 40 seconds. Which I should be able to do. And there's another crew battle. Oh, oh! Oh, damn. That was lucky as fuck. Come on. Okay, I have more than enough time. Okay, let's just sell that, and we're off to do some stuff. Uh, anything good? Fists of Flame is kinda cool. Turnbuckle launch, jump extra high as Murray. Okay, sure. 
Uh, yeah, let's do more in the next episode. I'll see you then. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.